And here with Tanya Nikolaychek of Naperville. We're here in the Chicago office of Vital Directions, uh, run by Tom Hurl, who's also with us. Thank you both for taking the time to, to share the, the journey that, Tanya, you've been on the last four months. Um, That's right. Tell us about that. What, what brought you to Vital Directions? Well, I came here just by accident because I said I exhausted all the options available for me and I was ready to go and have a surgery. But I was on the waiting list and I needed to wait for a couple months before actually we can go and schedule the surgery. So meanwhile, I didn't want to take uh, waste my time mm -hmm. and I decided that I need to try something else which is unconditional and because I'm not losing anything. So. Mm -hmm. That's how I came up, and I decided I probably need to try uh, unconventional methods. Right. And I start doing some research on the internet, and that's where Tom name popped in. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I just, I just, it was other many other names, but I just chose Tom, right. and I just stick with them. Right, right, <laughs> and with good so, reason. Uh, and, yes, and, and, um, and your well, condition was. Going back, yeah, mm -hmm. I will tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, probably f five years ago, when I first had the first symptom and I didn't know what it was, but it was a really painful. It was a pain that lasted on my left mm -hmm. side and the face, lasted for maybe a couple seconds, but the pain was very excruciating. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's like electric shock went through my face. And that happened while I was driving, so I almost lost control of my car, and mm -hmm. I didn't know what happened. The pain came, and it just, it was gone. So that's happened a few times during probably the winter time, with no particular reason and no mm -hmm. cause any time. Uh, so I didn't really know what was it all about. Right. But the next year, uh, the pain was coming more often and it would come um, maybe when I'm talking, I'm mm -hmm. laughing, uh, I'm eating. So any movements of my face will cause a pain and trigger. And one point the pain was so unbearable that I actually ended up going in the emergency room. Right. And I was sick in hell because I have no idea what it was. I was really scary. Right. You thought it might be a brain tumor. I, yeah, that's what I thought. Right. I, yeah, I thought I probably have a brain tumor because the pain actually started somewhere here and it will shoot through my left side of the mm -hmm. face all the way. So, I mean, the emergency room obviously couldn't do anything except saying, you know, I need to go and see the doctor. And they just suggested me to see a neurologist mm -hmm. or maybe talk to my family doctor. Mm -hmm. So the first doctor I went to see was a neurologist who saw that it might be a condition called trigeminal neuralgia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was given pills at the time. I think it was a trigonal. I don't remember what was the dosage, but they normally start with a small one and then increase it. Right. You know, pain continues and it doesn't go away. So the first time I got the pills, it didn't do the whole a lot to me. Mm -hmm. So I went and I see the doctor again. Uh, the dosage was increased. It kept a little bit, but it wasn't again. It wasn't mm -hmm. just, uh, it wasn't much help. So I, I think over the course of five years, it's been five years, I went and I see different specialists and I talk with a lot of different neurologists. Uh, when I finally end up coming to Loyola University Hospital, um, consulting on the neurology department. And at that point of time, they were told me that this is definitely trigeminal neuralgia, that uh, actually condition known when a blood vessel get enlarged mm -hmm. and it touches your facial nerve. So any type of uh, blood flow will cause us pain. So it could happen any time, pain could come and go, it could last seconds, it could last for a you know, couple minutes, but it just, I think there is, there is no stronger pain 
in hum, hum, as human knows. Mm -hmm. I think that is the strongest pain that anyone right. could experience. So the pills didn't really work for me, and my next option was actually consider surgery, where right. I decided that I will go ahead and I have a surgery. Which would be cutting the nerve, right? Um, no, not at this point, because okay. there's a different ways of doing the surgery, okay. and there is an invisible, invisible way of doing the surgery, mm -hmm. so they okay. don't need to cut the nerve, but they really need to go inside and find the base of this nerve. Mm -hmm. and put a divider, a little sponge that's going to divide the nerve and the blood vessel oh, so they don't touch uh, okay. each other. Right. So you were ready to do that and then um, w was that a scary prospect for you? That was a scary prospect, yeah. definitely. So definitely. That's, definitely. That, yeah. that's what really got you to really accelerate that's your search for... Right, but you know, I the pain was so um, intolerable and it's affect the whole life. I mean, it, it, there was no other way. I knew that I needed to do something because I could not function right. normally. So when you came to first see Tom, yeah. her old hair, uh, how skeptical were you? I mean, did you have much hope? I was skeptical because I never had any uh, acupuncture treatment or mm -hmm. alternative treatment uh, in my life. I've heard from people, but I never experienced anything myself. The only thing I knew that it's not going to hurt because, I mean, I have so much pain that I said nothing is going to hurt me at this right. point, so it's not going to get worse. Right. So it was trying before, you know, I really need to the surgery. Mm -hmm. So that's when I came to see Tom, was very skeptical, and um, after a couple treatments, so after two treatments, I start feeling much, much better. Mm -hmm. The pain was actually, uh, I wouldn't say gone, but it wasn't as painful. It didn't come as often. Mm -hmm. It didn't last as long. I was able to sleep at night. And then we had another treatment, third treatment, when I need to go, and I was gone for mm -hmm. a couple of weeks. So we interrupted the whole treatment. And obviously, I didn't know how long it's gonna last. Was it gonna need another one? But it did last it very long. Mm -hmm. I came back and we did two more treatments, and the pain was gone, gone, was completely gone. Right. What, what, I could yeah. not believe. I right. could not believe. I, every day I will wake up in the morning and I'm waiting because I know when I start brushing my teeth, it's gonna come. So mm -hmm. it's this anticipation of this pain. Mm -hmm never goes away and I said that's that's the hardest part because you never know right. when it's going to come so for a while I could not believe that that's what actually happens yeah it was hard so it's been almost four months mm -hmm. since we had this treatment and you see I'm, I'm talking I'm mm. smiling I, they, I you know I'm, I'm normal I am back to normal life where I didn't take any pills uh, for four months already, and I hope that, you know, that's, th at least I know that there is a hope. Right. If this is not a cure, that's something that is controllable. Mm -hmm. There is a way to control it without actually any medication. Right. That were having, you know, side effects, and I didn't really, I didn't like taking those medications. What was the impact on your quality of life before you started coming? For, for acupuncture treatments here? Uh, during this period of attack, which normally they will come around uh, October time, mm -hmm. last through the whole winter. It's typical for trigeminal neuralgia. Mm -hmm. Fall and spring time when the attack occurs. Yeah, I could not normally function during this time. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it was very painful for me to speak, uh, talk, eat, I mean, just normal day-to-day sense were not for right. me at the time. But <clears throat> it's not only that. Uh, the pain could be triggered by a small light wind. Just a little mm -hmm. breeze in the air could cause a pain. So it's not only, you know, me moving my facial mm -hmm. muscle. Uh, 
anything outside. So that's that was the worst part that you don't know what could cause right. and when it's gonna happen wow. and okay. when it's gonna catch you. And then it's basically it frees you. Then you can't do anything for this couple minutes. Right. You can absolutely do nothing. You just wait wow. when it go away and then you know. You can well, it sounds like there's no uh, no pending surgery though, right? I hope so. Not at least in the near future. Okay. <laughs> yes, I have a big hope that this is going to work. I hope that it's went to remission. And, you know, maybe we'll just continue to maintain. Mm -hmm. But, yes. Excellent. It's definitely, I mean, the, the result just incredible. Incredible. Great. Tanya, thank you so much for sharing your story. Yeah, you're welcome.